Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Torn of the Golden Country. We are getting on towards the end game and oh, there's a treasure chest over there. <laughs> Just <laughs> suddenly the had it come into view. Killing me. Infinity Max Evade 3. Is there another one over there? Does not appear so. Huh. Anyway, so we're right at the end game, but um, it suddenly occurred to me that there is a side quest all the way back in Oresco that I said I was going to save for last and then forgot about. <laughs> so uh, let's go take care of it. Now I do remember this side quest from when I watched nice other pace. people play. Let's catch our breath and move out. So I'm pretty sure I know what's going to happen here. Let's talk to Malton first and see what he has to say. Ah, how can we get Miss Sorrel's spirits back to normal? Her eyes always look like a dead fish. It's not a chef's job to cook the fish. It's a chef's job to cook the fish, not to be the fish. Ah, I kind of leave her like this. If I keep visiting her, she'll come around sooner or later. Can't go back to Moradain until she's better. I'll show you the true appetite for knowledge a chef has. Right. So, if I remember correctly, this side quest has two possible endings. So... To make sure... Let's actually... Save there. And now we talk to Sora. Not you, Walton. Get out of the way. Hi. Ah, oh, come on, I'm begging you. Just a small taste of one of your culinary masterpieces is all I'm asking. My dear Mr. Malton, you can keep on begging until the Arden come home, but it's not going to change anything. Ah, oh, come on, lass, I told you why I'm here. I came all the bleeding way from more Arden to partake in your fine food. I can't simply go home without sampling Torna's most closely guarded secret. I'm even risking my neck being here for architect's sake. Go on, make an exception just this one time for me. As I've mentioned numerous times, Mr. Moulton, it simply can't be done. I'm sorry. Sorry to interrupt, but what is it exactly that's stopping you? Oh, Laura, Prince Adam. It's because of my parents. I left them in Porton Village, and now they're... they've passed on. I've been trying to get over the grief, but I just can't. I, I'm barely keeping it together as it is. Oh, that's rough. My deepest condolences. Even so, you simply cannot continue to serve meals with such a subpar taste. Subpar it may be, but tell me, Mr. Malton, how is it in relation to Ardanian cuisine? All right, you win that one. Is Ardanian cuisine really that bad, Hugo? Oh, uh, well, it's an acquired taste. I would have to say I'm quite fond of our delicacies, but it seems that the public opinion differs. I can't really stomach it, I'm afraid. I'd take Jin's cooking over it any day. Obviously. It is obvious, isn't it? Look, I know it sounds selfish of me to insist, but how long are you going to keep this up, eh? These customers are coming to you. They know how good you are, but look at what you're serving them. Everyone has to deal with hardships, you more than others. But a good chef prides themselves on their food. Yes, but... I've got it! I know this might be hard on you, ma'am, but I may have a way to add a little zest to your cooking. Zest? By way of a cooking contest! Yes! Give that man a medal! I'll happily front the reward money, and I'm sure we can borrow the inn for an evening if we ask nicely. So it's to be an evening with Adam, is it? Well, let's not put out let's not put that on the pamphlets. But moving on, Hugo and I could be the judges, and let's see. Sign me up too. I came here to sample food. This may turn out to be the perfect opportunity for me. Done. But is there anyone who would even want to participate in a food contest in times this dangerous? Absolutely. <laughs> 
like the way they zoomed in on him there. Don't let his looks fool you. Jin here happens to be a very talented cook. Me? Oh, no. I'm... Come on, Jin. Help them out here. You'll be doing everyone a huge favor, and I really want to see you put your skills to the test. Hmm. Very well, then. That's our Jin. Next, we'll have to ask around the capital and see who else might be interested in taking part. Will you be joining us, Miss Sorrel? Uh, hmm. I suppose. I am quite curious to see the extent of the Paragon of Torna's skills with a ladle and spatula. This is rather exciting. Hey, hold up a sec. Yes, Mithra? Aren't we forgetting someone here? Oh, you must mean Aegean. Hey, you're right. Aegean can make a mean fish pie. I'll have to see if we can get him on board and not him, me. You better watch out, Jin, because I'm going to sneak up and steal that victory right up from under your nose. <laughs> hey, watch it. You'll be laughing on the other side of your face. I'm serious, and I'll be bringing my A game. Well, now that we have some real challengers, why don't we return to the inn and talk this through? Fine by me. Ho oh, ho, this is shaping up to be even better than I'd imagined. Adam wants to eat Mithra's cooking as one of the judges? Okay. I see there's work to do. Okay, so I guess we have to go to the inn now and see if we can use the place. Right, we've got to think of something that'll really knock the judges for six. Oh yes, wouldn't it be delightful if we won? Why are you two getting so fired up over this? Do lighten up, Jin, it's just a bit of fun. Cooking contests are all about appealing to the judges' taste. We have to pick carefully. Yes, very true. The judges are Master Adam, Lord Hugo, and Mr. Malton. Furthermore, from what Master Adam told me, the renowned gourmet Omnom will be attending the event. A renowned gourmet? Hmm. Yeah, I hear there'll be a few others showing up as well. It'll be difficult to work out their preferences, but I know for a fact that Adam loves his pan-fried tartare. Pan-fried tartare. Mouth-watering, isn't it? So soft and succulent. Yes, it's quite exquisite. I've, I've always wanted to try my hand at that. Could be a good opportunity. Yeah, go for it. For the ingredients, we'll need balufo beast meat and rogel bird meat. Ideally, we'd want weeping flour, nest extract, and barbed tomatoes also. Mmm, I can already taste it melting in my mouth. Lady Laura, it just occurred to me. Yes, Hayes? What if the other participants decide on the same strategy as ours? You think they might prepare the exact same meal? Yes, supposing they do. Well, it still, won't, it still won't be a problem if our tartari outclasses the rest of them, right? But if we do make the same dish, it does lower our chances of success. How about a dessert, then? Yes, dessert. I approve. Great. And whose favorite would that be? I know I'd love it. Me too. Hmm. I don't really do sweet dishes normally, though it couldn't hurt to try. What would we be making specifically? I could bake a cake I once saw in Araya. Would that do? For the ingredients, I'd need cranberry bells, rusca flour, some more weeping flour, and finally some Malosian honey and a few lacto nuts. That sounds divine. What do you think, Lady Laura? Which is our best bet? We'll have to choose between the two, won't we? Hmm. What do you think, Jen? Which would you be happier with? Hmm. Pan-fried tartare would be easier to make, but I'd say we've got a good chance with either choice. Hmm, that's not making it any easier. Well, if we're still on the fence, why don't we make both and decide which one to serve at the last moment? Not a bad idea. Alright, let's do that. We can meet back here at the inn once Jin's prepared the meals. Excellent. Best of luck, Jin. Yeah. Fried tartare a la Jin and wingberry cake. Yeah, so you choose which one you put in the competition, and it changes the outcome. Now, if I remember correctly, Wingberry Cake causes you to win the competition, but the 
pan fried tartari is the it gets you the better result for the quest I think that's how it goes so what I'm planning to do then is put the wingberry cake in first then reload and put in the, the pan fried tartari so we can see both endings but we'll make the tartari ending the canonical one that's my plan. Okay, so... And... Moonberry cake, okay. So, I was about to check Jin's affinity chart because... One of the nodes is make all of his crafting recipes. Yeah! And I've got... 13 out of 15. There's two left to go, and now I finally have the final two. Oh, look how close I am on that one! My goodness. I could basically finish Jin's affinity chart like, right now. Just gotta find someone who I can use as level 3 on. And then make both of these. So let's go find a place where we can actually do some cooking. Let's see. Yes. Hmm. Let's go to Hyper Village and go backwards to the campsite out towards Aletta. Well, shall we continue? Let's see, it was um, that way, I think. This is becoming a Nature makes a fine ally. Weeping flower, I need that for one of the recipes. All right, crafting. Gym. I know it'll be worth the wait. Oh man, those blasted barb tomatoes. Pa. Uh. Okay, the wingberry cake is actually a pretty decent item. Good arts recharge. Okay, let's see. Barbed tomatoes. Those are in Toragoth, if memory serves. Yeah, I have everything else I need. I just need the barbed tomatoes. Ugh, that keeps on being what trips me up with these with these recipes. Okay. Let's go get some. Uh. <laughs> Last of barbed tomatoes. Always those stupid things. Okay. I don't remember exactly where in Torgoth they are, though. So I guess I'll just have to start from the Torgoth arch and head on in and check each. Skip and a jump later. Well, shall we continue? It's always raining when I show up here. Aren't we intrepid? <sighs> Let's see. Okay, that's the wrong kind of gather point. So I need a vegetable point. Aren't we in Nature makes a fine ally. But I don't remember which vegetable points. This is becoming a Nature makes a fine ally. Hmm. Not those, obviously.
Maybe that one over there, it's yellow, so that usually means really good items. Or at least a high chance of really good this items. Is becoming a Nature makes a fine ally. Well, that wasn't anything worthwhile. Aren't we in trying something of an expert? Let's see. Maybe this one? This is becoming a Nature makes a fine ally. Ahaha! Four barbed tomatoes. That's more than I needed. Get any more? No, this is a flower place. Aren't we in Nature makes a fine ally. Okay, I really ought to try to remember that it's that gather point kind of between these two tree trunks. Let's actually see. It's closer to the cemetery. I should have started there. But anyway, let's see if we can it was a nice change skip face. Let's catch our breath and move out. That's a tree spot. Flower spot. Okay, let's just ignore those and try to get more barbed tomatoes. I don't know if I'm going to need any more, but, you know, better to have them and not need them. This is becoming a nature makes a fine ally. Even though they're legendary rareness, they're relatively common from that spot. Okay, let's get them. Let's get some more. <laughs> I'm so sick and tired of running out of barbed tomatoes. What a pleasant stroll. You remember our destination, don't you? Yes, Aegean, our destination is right here. This is becoming a dictator. Nature makes a fine ally. Like only two that time. Whoosh. Well, shall we continue? Right. This is becoming nature, nature makes a fine ally. Okay, got a few more there. Eleven. You know what? I think that's good enough. So let's uh, head back to Torna. Uh, might as well go to the Dana region. Doesn't really matter. And if only I could find a good monster to do Jin's level 3 so against. Different. Let's catch our breath and move out. That would be a good monster to get Jin's level three against. I know it'll be worth the wait. Okay, Wingberry Cake. It came together nicely. Fried Tartari a la Jin. It's ready. Okay, that'll get him his... That one node filled in. <laughs> you can rely on me. I just gotta do it. I got to find that... I gotta fill in that one last node. Increases critical damage by 80%. Made every item that Jin can craft. It is its own kind of strength for Laura. Okay, so I just have to use Ice Revolution one more time. Well, let me think. Where's a good place to do that? Uh, maybe against that big, unique Arachno monster? Go to Turco's Plateau. It was a nice 
change of pace. And uh... Let's catch our breath and move out. Okay, over here. Aren't we? I know the drill. Okay. Sorry, I'm afraid we can't go easy on you. I think I can do this quickly. Shield flash. Where's he up there? It is. Blast it. Stupid oversized thumbs again. The A button, not the X button. Now that's what my Dion is a finely sculpted blade, isn't he? He's got a very stable core, doesn't he? He must have incredible balance. And that form. I would appreciate it if you could stop staring now. You're making me blush. <laughs> okay. All right, All right Grace, you get to die of uh, what? A fourth time? Oh, wow! I did not expect that to work quite so well. Okay, do level three. There we go. Why do I couldn't do any damage? Excellent timing on my part. Why do I have the aggro? Come on, Team Hugo, do your job. You're the tank. Interceptor Grace is running away. Oh, level four. Level three. Let's see, uh, which orb are we missing? Earth, we're missing the Earth orb. Okay, we have to have Laura go first. And then, Mithra, why not? Don't forget and, me. And then Bridget. Leave the rear guard to me, Bridget. This is far from I'm over. Stop. All right, and now Hayes. Why not? Me, hey. Cloud burst. We're not done yet. Mithra. And then Bridget. Don't expect to recover from this. I can follow that up. Magnificent. 
Jin. Jin, I'm trusting you with this. Magnificent. No mercy. Minoff. Rosetta. Magnificent. I'm getting some use out of these. <laughs> this guess. is the part I like most. He's a really Obstinate thing. Magnificent. And now it doesn't matter which of them. Laura. Laura, I've left you some. Final snap. This is Hundy. Magnificent. Elemental burst. Full burst. Oh, Hawk of Thorns. Gunshot. Round the witch. I need your help. Good. 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 Midnight Sun! Midnight Sun! Enemy down! We share an unbreakable bond. Twas a sight to behold. You're always looking ahead. We're Adam. doing great. Aren't you forgetting something? Oh? Such as? Just don't shoulder all the burden yourself. You have us to rely on too sometimes. Aren't we intrepid? <sighs> Alright, Jin's affinity chart is done. As soon as I open it up, <laughs> one last time. I shouldn't need more than this. Well, you better not need more than that, Jen, because you can't get more than that. All that I am, I lay in your hands, Laura. Affinity max attack six? Okay. Hmm. It would make sense to give that to Jen, since he's the one who earned it. Hayes only has one more to go. Perform a blade combo finisher. I believe I had her do that once during this fight just now. And deal a critical hit. Okay, he's not too far off from that. Make every item he can craft. Finish an enemy. Hmm. You know, to do that, I probably ought to go back to the really earliest area where everything's like level 2, level 3, and just run around his mean off and have him attack it all. And he'll just kill it all with his first auto attack and that should be in the way to grind this one up okay blade combo finisher use her level 2 and she's so close two more to go overkill a monster in a oh wow Bridget doesn't have much left either one more chain attack overkill two more blade combo finishers and two more level two specials that's doable Gian has quite a bit further he has to do this 11 more times but it's the last thing he has to do Wow. okay who should I give that Infinity Max Attack 6 to. Oh, Dark Defense up, yeah. Because I'm about to fight Malos and he is a Dark Element enemy. Infinity Max Attack 3. You know what? I'm going to give it to Aegean. He needs the extra damage so that he can... to help him hold aggro. Yeah. Okay, then.
right we've got the uh, we got that fight done and we've got the items crafted okay I think this is where I need to make the decision about Let's which item to enter face. into Let's the competition. Catch our breath and move out. So let's do one last save. Oh. Don't want to stand in their little rock garden there. That would be just so gosh. Everyone all set? I think I'm good to go as well. Shall we begin Adam Origo's Great Tornin Cook-Off? Let's get cooking. Oh, we've got an audience. Is that Geo? Glad to see he seems to be feeling a little bit better. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe it's officially time to begin the Great Tornin Cook-Off. Please welcome our four contestants, each of whom has honored us with their culinary talents today. From the ever-friendly Café Amicus. Oh, that's a clever pun. Friendly Amicus. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, <clears throat> we have Miss Sorrel. Secondly, introducing the owner of this very inn, Fred. Fred has been gracious enough to provide us with the venue for today's event. Thank you, Fred. Next up, it is the Paragon of Torna himself, Jin. And last but not least, against everyone's better judgment, is the Aegis herself, Mithra. Now, the four of you will be competing amongst each other, and to gauge your performance, here are our esteemed judges. Hailing from the arid plains of Morardain, please give a warm welcome to Emperor Hugo Adrenach. From that same yonder land comes a scholar and connoisseur of fine food, Mr. Malton. Our resident gourmet, known far and wide for her gastronomic gallantry, Omnom. Representing our younger age group, it's the dastardly duo, Mikhail and Milton. And finally I, Adam Origo, might even add a comment or two if I feel like it. Judges, be sure not to let any personal bias color your judgment. Trust only your tongues. I know. I intend to remain completely impartial. These are dark days, but that doesn't mean we have to while our lives away in misery. Relax and enjoy the show. Gee, that's not very subtle, Adam. Miss Sorrel, would you care to go first? Certainly. I preferred Cafe Amicus's world-famous five-star offering. It's Tricolor Aqua Pazza. Tricolor, you say? looks like three things putting it looks like three things put together isn't that cheating it's the famous specialty isn't it I'm afraid it's been a while since I last made it so it might not be up to scratch but well see what you think for starters meal gets points for ample serving could become regular after this the delicate notes of all three flavors mingle in perfect harmony you'd never find the likes in more ordain it is exceedingly tasty I'm gonna leave the leaves it must have been proper hard work to prepare all three meals from scratch. Yes, we mustn't overlook the effort that was put in to make this feast look so attractive. A boon to Torna, indeed. Fred, if you'd like to present your dish. I don't know how I can follow up that enormous helping, but here we are. This is the most expensive thing we have on the menu. Hope you like it. What have we here? Meat! Woohoo! Pretty straightforward. Go on, tuck in. Roasted to the perfect degree. You'd never find the likes in more Ardain. I like it. Very palatable. Mm-hmm. I didn't know meat could be so soft and juicy. It's decent. It's exceptionally tasty, true. But cannot help feeling anyone could make it... Could make... If to be using high-quality meat. It's a little on the spicy side, which isn't a bad thing at all. <laughs> he lied. <laughs> uh, Adam hates spicy. Okay, is this where I choose? 
Okay, Jen, you're up. What have you got for us? Well, Laura, which one are we going to present? Uh, let's see. So, if I remember correctly, and I'm, I hope I do, this is the one where Jin wins the competition. But this is the one where we get the better quest outcome. So we're going to start with this. Let's go for the wingberry cake. Got it. <laughs> looks like a Zerda. <laughs> that looks like a Zerda's face. <laughs> Complete with horns. <laughs> Today, I've made wingberry cake. You look like tough muscle man, but make surprisingly girly dish. I must say, I never expected this from you, Jin. I can only assume he intended to catch us by surprise. He is cute, scrummy, Omnom cannot get enough of it. It's been so delicately crafted, you'd never find the likes in more day. It's a welcome change from all the meat. It's not too sweet either, just right in my book. It's like my tummy is being filled with happiness. Got any more cranberry bells? And finally, Mithra. We dwell us all with your dish, were you? That's the idea. Nice one putting me in at the end. Didn't think I'd notice. Saving the best for last, am I right? Actually, I just wanted everyone to have a chance to enjoy their last meals before the inevitable happened. <laughs> whatever. Or, okay, okay, are you ready? Feast your eyes on this. Well. <laughs> uh, we're going anime tropes again. Where they um, censor the food. You know, allegedly so that you don't get completely disgusted by looking at it. But it also saves them the trouble of having to draw it in detail. So, you know, just put in a bunch of colored dots and call it done. It's a surprise, I'll give you that. Yarg! It's definitely the one that left the biggest impression on me. Is afraid Omnon cannot stomach another bite. Actually, I think with a bit of chewing, it definitely leans towards edible. It's a very particular flavor. <laughs> yes, I could get used to this. You'd never find the likes in Moradain. Are Ardanian taste buds broken or something? Well, folks, we've sampled all four meals and the judges have come to a verdict. I'd now like to announce the winner of the Great Torn and Cook-Off. Oh, I'm on the edge of my seat. Come on, come on. Hmm. The grand prize of today's tournament goes to... Jin's Wingberry Cake! Go team! We did it! Was a very refreshing interlude that came just at right time, especially after a series of heavy dishes. Yes, it could not have been more well-timed. And placed in contrast to Mithra's highly combustible concoction that came right after, it instantly became the highlight of the event with this exquisite flavor. Wait, let me get this straight. You're saying my dish somehow highlighted the flavor of the other one? In a nutshell, yes. Looks like you owe me one, Jin. Just hit me up if you want to go halves on the reward. Good call, Laura. Hey, it was your cooking skills that led into us the win. Hayes' advice also turned out to be a big help. I'm glad to have been a service. And that brings us to the end of the contest. But never fear, folks. With your support, I'd like to host a second one someday. So keep polishing those skills. Perhaps we should switch it up the next time around. I'd gladly cook something up. I'd gladly cook something up for a change. I'm now I'm quite happy to remain as judge. I'm not complaining, just as long as you make sure to hold him here. We'll do even better next time, won't we, Jen? For sure. And I'll have to make sure to get back into my usual rhythm. Next time, that first prize is so mine. Please, just don't. The only way she could win is if she's the only one left standing. Thank you. I'm finally back on my feet emotionally and able to focus on my cooking, and it's all you're doing. Please stop by someday to try my tricolor aquapaza. Oh? 
Am That's I pronouncing so that right? Aquapaza? Or the Paza? Or... I don't know. I knew Miss Sorrel's food would be exceptional, but Jin and Mithra's was a surprise treat, so thank you for that. Ardanian food will have its day, too. Okay. Would that mean I could go talk to Mac Mac and finally get that done, or do I have to get all the way up to community level 5? Hmm. I don't know. Always happy to put a smile on people's faces. Let's see. Gold, 5,000. XP, 4,270. SP, 198. Two opal chips. Specials, level 3 plus 3, 2 of. The winner of the first inaugural tournament cook-off went to Jin. Much fun was had by all, and the event will be fondly remembered. All right. Uh, so now we need to... Oh, look at that. Literally killer tart. Mithra's final recipe. Well, now we have to see the other option. So, uh, viewers, hold that thought. I'll be back in just a bit. Okay, here we go. So, first time, we did the wingberry cake. Now, the fried tartari a la gin. Let's go with the tartari. As you wish. Oh, well, that's cute. Today I've prepared for you my special pan-fried tartare. More meat! Why, that's my favorite! Hmm. I wonder, was that, uh, awe from Hugo or disappointment? It's delicious! I can't fault a thing! Plenty to fill Tum Tum. Om Nom always give high ratings for sizable portions. It's so juicy and tender, you'd never find the likes in more ordain. He just keeps saying that. I like meat, but this might be a little too much for me. It's it's heavy on the stomach, I fear. So alright. Yeah, so more of a mixed reaction than the wingberry cake. And finally, Mithra. Hoping to wow us all with your dish, are you? That's the idea. Nice one putting me in the, at the end. Didn't think I'd notice. Saving the best for last, am I right? Actually, I just wanted everyone to have a chance to enjoy their last meals before the inevitable happened. <laughs> whatever. Okay, are you ready? Feast your eyes on this. Well, Irk. It's a surprise, I'll give you that. Yerg! It's definitely the one that's left the biggest impression on me. It's afraid Omnom cannot stomach another bite. Actually, I think with a bit of chewing, it's definitely leaning towards edible. It's a very particular flavor. Yes, I could get used to this. You'd never find the likes in more Ardain. <laughs> what do you find the likes of in more Ardain, then, Mr. Malton? Are Ardanian taste buds broken or something? Well, folks, we sampled all four meals, and the judges have come to a verdict. I'd now like to announce the winner of the Great Torn and Cook-Off. Oh, I'm on the edge of my seat. Come on, come on. Hmm. The grand prize of today's tournament goes to... Miss Sorrel's Tricolor Aqua Paza. I'm honored. You are truly the finest cook that Torna has to offer, lass. Not many people able to pull off three-meal combo on one plate like that. I know it hasn't been easy for you, but I'd be so chuffed if you could just keep cooking like you did today. Thank you, Mr. Malton. I feel I would not have been able to start looking to the future again were it not for you. Perhaps to reward my efforts, you would be willing to part with your closely guarded recipe? That, I'm afraid, is non-negotiable. Hey, Adam. What's the deal? Why didn't my dish win? Ah, well, I believe the problem was simply that your meal was aimed at too discerning a palate, Mithra. You mean I should have toned it down? Hard luck, Jin. Yeah. But I've never done something like that before. It was interesting. Right? Like Adam said, the point was for us to have a good time. Yes, and I had a wonderful time. My heart was racing when they were announcing the winner. All in all, it was pretty good. And that brings us to the end of the contest. 
But never fear, folks. With your support, I'd like to host a second one someday, so keep polishing those skills. Perhaps we should switch it up next time around. I'd gladly cook something up for a change. I'm not quite happy to remain as judge. I'm not complaining, just as long as you make sure to hold him here. We'll do even better next time, won't we, Jin? For sure. And I'll have to make sure to get back into my usual rhythm. Next time, that first prize is so mine. Okay, it's going the same as it did before. Please, just don't. The only way she could win is if she's the only one left standing. Thank you. I'm finally back on my feet emotionally and able to focus on my cooking. And it's all you're doing. Please stop by someday and try my tricolor, tricolor aqua puzza. I really have no idea how to pronounce that. You have our gratitude. I knew Miss Sorrel's food would be exceptional, but Jin and Mithras was a surprise treat, so thank you for that. Ardanian food will have its day too. Same basic ending. But it should be better quest rewards. There. That should do it. Yeah. Ten times as much gold, half again as much experience, and yeah, half again as much SP. Wow. The winner of the first inaugural torn and cook-off went to Miss Sorrel. Much fun was had by all, and the event will be fondly remembered. Yeah, and, you know, honestly... That makes sense, because the whole point of this stuff is to build up the community, not to build up ourselves. And so, a member of, you know, a citizen of Torna won, rather than, you know, the Paragon himself. And so, maybe a bit disappointing that we didn't win, but we spread more happiness this way. That's why we get the better quest reward. Literally killer tart. And that's Mithra's final crafting recipe. So if I go off and make that... Then that should... Uh, give nice her another note on her affinity chart. Let's catch our breath and move out. Aren't we in Nature makes a fine ally. Okay. How many barbed tomatoes am I going to need for this? Time to get cooking. I'm kind of excited. None. Okay. Oh, it's just a bunch of bugs. I got plenty of them. Let's see. Not good arcs recharge. Not good anything, really. Not nearly as good as the Miracle Parfait. Which I can't make because I have no Moonbeam Bananas, and those are also over in Gourmont. Just like everything else I seem to need. No matter. Let's just get the uh, Lavender check mark it next to there. better than it looks. Probably. Hmm... I mean, I'm trying to figure out how that works. With most of the rest of her recipes, you can at least see where it's going. I mean, she has some fruit in this one, even if one of them is, you know, bell peppers. And, I mean, she has two types of seafood and you know, some mushrooms and you know, nest extract to glue it together. You know, it makes sense. I can see how they actually work, even if they do sound completely disgusting. This? I don't see how it works. Where's, like, the starchy type stuff that holds everything together? You know, it's nothing but protein. 
I don't see how it works. Oh well. It doesn't really matter that much. Okay, so we got Mithra's Affinity Reward. Fine. I got your back. We need to do her level two a whole bunch. Hmm. You know, I said in the previous episode that I was going to fight the final boss in this episode, and it looks like we're not going to get to that. Because it's only, like, I don't know, ten minutes left. Even if I could get through the fight itself in that amount of time, there's all the cutscenes and stuff to follow. So, yeah, it looks like that's going to be delayed until the next episode. Okay, let's actually test something out. Vanguard switch. Okay, so. One of Minoth's nodes is finish an enemy. I need to do that 18 times. So if I go to a low level area and... You know, keep fighting stuff there... Maybe I can grind that out. Anyway, yeah, so let's give that a shot. See if I can act, see if I understand how that's supposed to work. So, we go to the Lasaria region. All the way back to the starting area where we originally had only Laura and Jin. And that level 34 unique monster. Well, shall we continue? is not going to bother us because uh, it's dead. Is this really Nature worth the effort? Nature makes a fine ally. Okay, got some of that. Now let's see here. A level 2 Volf. Annihilate. Get cocky. In any case, it pays for so long. regularly is the key to assuring victory. Okay, did Minoff kill that thing? Because I'm not too sure it was him. Okay, either he didn't, or I'm misunderstanding this. Okay, that time it was what definitely me off. To the end. Don't go getting any funny ideas now. Pardon? Laura, I think you're reading into that a little too much. Fine, fine. Just take care of yourself, all right? I want us all to share the same future. Okay. So. Laura is still hitting hard with the uh, Greek tragic punches. <clears throat> okay, yes. Minoth definitely finished off that Wolf, and now he it's ticked up by one. Wonder these Belufos. Whatever you do, don't worry. This won't take long. Didn't even bat an eyelid. That could have gone a lot worse. Um, yes, Hayes, it really could have. Let's have a look there. I'm kind of surprised, though. The, even though it was only level 2, he just finished it right off. Big guys usually can take a few punches. No half measures! I do hope we can finish it quickly. Gunshot! Nobody and all rest can stop us now. All the things we can achieve when we work together. Don't expect any surprises. Yeah. 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 Can stop us now. Bond between driver and blade is some powerful stuff. I will gladly excel at any chores His Majesty would entrust me with. Is that what we're calling a bond now? Sure. Um, sure. There we go. This could 
Whatever you while. do, don't get cocky. <laughs> what a show of force! I don't expect any surprises. Let's get this over with, Minnow. a real lesson. Oh, the things we can achieve when we work together. This shouldn't be too much trouble. I've got it covered. Sorry about that. I wasn't paying enough attention. Don't worry yourself. We all make mistakes. Oh, diddums. Shall I kiss it better for you? Stop a sock in it, clown. Okay, that was a weird bit of dialogue. Is this really worth I know the, the effort? Alright, so... Let's take another look at Minos chart and see where we are now. Okay, I made some pretty solid progress on this. I was at 12, now I'm at 19. Ah, darn it. I want to hit the jump button. Is there anyone else around here? Oh, here's some. No hat magic! We make such a wonderful team, you and I. Don't we? I'm about as nimble as you are, uh, royal. I'll drink to that. I don't expect any surprises. I shall not fall behind. Time to teach them a real lesson. What a show of force! Okay, was that me and author? Was that Laura? Because I heard Laura get a, get in a hit there. No, it was me and Oth, okay. Up to 21. Okay, here we are at the ruined village where we first found Mikhail. Whatever you do, don't get cocky. <laughs> Life has been bustling lately. We've become like one big family. You never have the time to feel lonely anymore. Stop trying to make this weird for me. <laughs> I humbly apologize. I don't expect any surprises. <laughs> Stop us now. What a show of force! Interesting banter I'm getting from them these days. All right, you come here. Whatever you do, don't get it. It's all right. This will be over quickly. What a show of force! Is this really worth the effort? Probably not, Minoff, but I wanted to jump. Darn it! Boy, my thumbs are really clumsy today. And an Arlo Capiba. Yep, let's kill it. Don't get cocky. It's all right. Yeah. It'll be over quickly. Time to spawn a real driver and blade is some powerful stuff. I will gladly excel at any chores His Majesty would entrust me with. Is that what we're calling a bond now? No half measures. We can finish this. Thing. Yeah. 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 can stop us now. All the things we can achieve when we work together. It's just a. Ordinary mirror. This shouldn't be too much trouble. Time to teach them a real lesson. What a show of force! This shouldn't be too much trouble. Is everyone all right? No injuries. Do we really have the time to get all soft right now? He means thank you for your concern. I can speak for myself, thank you very much. Oh, come on, checking for injuries is only sensible. Oh, two more, almost done. And I've gotten two more critical hits. If I could just one more. Trouble. 
That'll teach them. Never underestimate the power of the common folk. Indeed. The Emperor bestows his gratitude. You're kind of giving the wrong impression there, Hugo. Um, where... Boy, that thing is not... Stop it. Whatever you do, don't get cocky. Stop us now. What a show of force! Hey, I got both of them at once. Got the final critical hit and the final enemy. And of course I hit the stupid skip travel button again. Okay, never mind. Let's just go somewhere. Um, hmm. Hmm. Sure, Dana, why not? Loft and Nature Preserve, why not? So, here we are. Our journey continues. I'll handle the support, too. Okay, then. Make every item that Minoth can craft. I just need his final script. I wonder how I get it, though. Okay, let's see. I need to use Mithra's level 2. That shouldn't be too difficult to arrange. I go here and blade switch. Bring her out to the front. Eh. Actually, I'm out of time for this episode, aren't I? Well, yeah, I'm out of time. Well, viewers, uh, thank you for watching Let's Play Torn of the Golden Country. I feel it's been fairly productive, even if it wasn't what I had planned to do. I was able to get that last side quest done. We saw both results and made the better one canonical to the save file. And, uh, well got a little bit further along with uh, multiple blades, including finishing Jin's affinity chart completely. So yeah, very productive. Thanks for watching. In the next episode, um, I hope I will be able to convince myself to go take care of the final boss. But knowing how my silly brain works, I don't know. <laughs> but that's what I'm hoping to do next time. See you then.